In the case of the brain, you know, you have disorganized thinking, but we don't know what thinking is. <laughs> so you can't look at uh, and say, well, it's, it's not thinking right. So we didn't come to, you know, a real chance to, to fight back against cancer until we knew the basic, you could say, laws by which DNA operated, and then finally how oh, chromosomes divide, etc., and all those details. Uh, once we had that, then we could begin to ask, well, why does the cancer cell behave differently? Uh, the case of the brain is clearly so complicated that in reality, about the only people who think about the brain are outsiders who are not capable of understanding it. That is, the people who are sort of bright enough or, you know, trained enough know how, how inherently complex it is. <laughs> and uh, you know, Francis Crick spent 20 years trying to think about it. In the end, he admitted nothing came out of it. <laughs> so, in a sort of perverse way, I think the only people who really know who should think about how the brain operates are those people who deal with schizophrenia or bipolar disease when, you know, they, the brain just, uh, you know, doesn't work. Uh, so, because for the most part, the people who study it who only got into the field because they have a child or they have a sister or a brother or, you know, you're in it because uh, you want to cure someone. And uh, so we can take away delusions from people with schizophrenia, but they're very cognitively impaired and we don't know how to repair the cognition defects. And that's why they become homeless if there's no one taking care of them. They just really can't look after themselves. So, you know, the thought that you can teach the homeless to take care of themselves. <laughs> no. <laughs> we have to take care of them. Yes, I have a son who uh, has a, not an ordinary form of schizophrenia, but uh, clearly uh, uh, cannot take care of himself. And uh, the great fear of that of all parents is uh, when the parents die, who takes care of your child? And the answer is they become homeless. You know, unless there's sufficient money in the family or something, but uh, given the structure of society today, uh, the mentally ill are treated very cruelly. We sort of deny their existence. Congress has virtually no interest in them. Great interest in cancer, but no interest. No one wants to hold a hearing on it. I would say predisposition, 100% whether it progresses to full-blown schizophrenia, uh, probably some environmental influences, such as, uh, it's clear if you're predisposed to schizophrenia, uh, smoking marijuana is, will tip you over. But uh, marijuana won't tip over if someone into schizophrenia is probably not predisposed. So, you know, most people smoke it and, uh, you know, uh, do not end up in mental hospitals, but some do. Uh, we've sort of proposed, you know, sequencing 100,000 mentally ill people because uh, it's not going to be just one gene that, uh, you know, you can stop a car from functioning by, you know, destroying a large number of different parts. And the same way you can sort of keep, put the brain, 
he could misfunctional uh, by just destroying one small part of a whole operating system. So, uh, well, we're pretty sure there are at least hundreds of genes. But we think if we put it together, there will be some pathway to schizophrenia. Uh, by which we can intervene in some cases. Uh, and it's too complicated for me now to to say, but it may be even though many genes are involved, uh, the way the brain works may nonetheless enable us to cure some. Uh, some cases of autism would just look as hopeless as anything. If the people have a abnormally high temperature and are in, in fever, their symptoms diminish. Now, so you think, well, you know, just raise their temperature a couple of degrees and uh, they won't be so sick. We're in fact going to have a meeting about this. So uh, I'm dominated, you know, uh, I want to, we have to get the genetic information, but as a parent, I want something good to happen, you know, over the next five to ten years. Mm -hmm.